Hey guys, it's Tony Butler, another episode of Marketing for Humans. And today we're going to talk about something that actually gets me fired up every time I'm asked this question. And there's all these companies and people and brands that are just tied up with this idea of technical SEO. Forget about technical SEO. It is a waste of your time. And I'm going to tell you exactly why and the one thing you should be thinking about. So before we get started, like the channel, follow. I'm going to be dropping some bombs. All right. So look, technical SEO is a total and complete, utter waste of your time. This is 2021. It's, it's the marketing world has changed completely, okay? For those of you thinking about technical SEO and that it's going to give you any kind of real advantage, forget about it. It is a waste of your time. There's only one thing you should be thinking about, one single thing, and that is your audience. What is it they want? What is it they need? How can you help them? Okay, kindness and what you can give away, that's the wave of the future. That is the new SEO. Okay, so stop thinking about anything technical with SEO and start thinking about your audience. Who are they? Where do they live? How can you help? Every morning you should be waking up with one single question and that's how can I better serve? Okay. Those of you who are waiting for shortcuts, you're looking for, hey, what's the one thing that I can do to get away from blah, blah, blah. Like, it's not working. What you've got to do if you want to really have traffic, you want to build an organic presence, is you've got to publish content that your users love, that your audience loves, the people that you want to attract. How can you help them? Okay, so stop thinking about yourselves and what you can get from it and start thinking about them. Now, I think one of the things that you should do is take a look at who your audience and your, your potential audience is and, and think about them as people, not just as a category, not just as a business, like if, especially if you're a B2B marketer, who are you selling to? How can you help them? You know, if you're in a, a technical field and you're selling to buyers, you know, professional buyers are the ones that are purchasing what you have, you know, maybe you're in more commodity, then find out what your particular niche of buyers need from an information standpoint, from, um, you know, how can you help them? And then what you're gonna do is, you're going to create content for them. Not about you, not about your service, okay? Let your content help you connect. If you help enough people, they'll find you, okay? If you publish what they want and what is interesting to them and what's gonna help them, they'll find you. You'll build an audience, you just will. Now, it's not gonna happen overnight don't call me and say, hey, I, I've been posting once a week for the last 16 weeks and nothing happened. Well, guess what? It's hard. There's 1.5 billion websites in the world, okay? Hundreds of millions of new pieces of content is being published day after day. So you can't expect to make any kind of a dent in a couple of weeks, in a couple of months. Unless you get really lucky and you have something that goes viral and you start to become a niche celebrity, like... It's really just going to be a grind. You're going to just have to keep publishing week after week after week, day after day after day, and then eventually they're going to connect with you. And the other thing that will happen is the more you publish, the better you'll get at publishing. The better you get at publishing, the, the better people will connect with you. The more they're able to connect with you, the better you'll do. It, it just becomes this a harmonic cycle where improving content will build your audience building your audience you know you'll get more recommended you get more recommended content and it, it just it, it it's how it works it's a flywheel okay but it all starts with your audience and then publishing for that audience on a consistent basis okay i've seen this happen over and over and over again i've worked with clients you know my one of my very very first clients you know, six months into the program, they're discouraged, like nothing's happening, like, like we can't see much. And I'm like, look, we're looking at all the stats and you're just starting to get traction. Um, I recently had a client leave, you know, we, we were, had a, a content system for them and, you know, we're publishing a few blogs every week, you know, week after week. And three months in, they're like, hey, we're not getting enough return. I'm like, it's three months, you couldn't expect a return. I told you at the beginning of the program, this is the long game, okay? Organic is a long game. So I'm not saying that technical SEO doesn't matter at all. That's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is, is that it's 
the least important thing that you're going to do. Okay. The most important thing is tell your story, connect with the audience, you know, provide value over time. That's what's going to change things. You know, when, when I look back over all the things that I've done over the last seven years in, in my agency, um, you know, writing books has been really valuable because it provides value to people really low cost. You know, blogging has been valuable. Making videos has been valuable. But really what it has been is then thinking deeply about my clients. You know, I've had some clients for four or five, you know, six years. And in order to keep someone and really do good business with them is that you got to think about them a lot and you've got to think about them in a way that they can't even think about themselves. You know, so if you can find a way to connect with your best fit audience and understand them better than themselves, and provide that value over time. Like that's when everything is going to change. That's when you're going to really, really do well. Okay. So stop with the short term thinking, put on the, your long game, start working on providing value, you know, and I, I would suggest that you put together a system where you're going to be doing the same things over and over again in a different way, you know, and like, like for primal storytelling, to get this message out, I've got to I've got to publish an enormous amount of content. I've got to create a lot of things for different kinds of people, different groups. You know, I've been doing some work with hospitality. I've been doing some work in, you know, manufacturing and some B two B businesses and some B two C. And in in order to work across these different categories, I've really got to manage you know my time. I've got, really got to manage how I'm thinking about them. And I think there, there's a lesson there for you, and that's. Don't waste your time with minor things. Focus on the major things. So if you focus on producing content over a long period of time, it'll work. It just will. You know, th think about content like it's like building a muscle. Okay. If if I'm trying to get if, if I'm trying to get some strength, like how many how many weightlifting sessions do I need to do before I get stronger? Okay, measurably stronger. Is it one? Is it two? Is it ten? Is it twenty? Okay, what, what if I want to get jacked? What if I want to go to the Olympia? Okay, I want to be 315 pounds of solid muscle and get up on stage. Well, guess what? <laughs> Those guys, they're building muscle for 10, 15 years, and they've got amazing genetics, all right? With content, it's, it's a similar thing is that the longer you publish, the more you publish, the better you're going to do, okay? And you've just got to understand, you've got to trust the process is that short term is just not going to help you. Okay. You got to look at, Hey, I, I not just publishing 10 blogs, 20 blogs, 50 blogs, publish 500 blogs. If you really want to see an example of this, I want you to take a look at Seth Godin. The guy is relentless. He's been publishing for years, day after day, after day, after day, go, go to Seth's blog. It's amazing. And if you download any of the guy's books, he's written a gazillion books. Okay. His books are reflective of his daily, his daily blog, like some of those posts that he's doing. Okay. What he's thinking about it. And, and he's connected with a worldwide audience. He's built a giant following. Um, it's not so much that the guy is a genius and he is, but I would say the best part of what he's done is just relentlessly putting his thoughts and his, his kind, kind help out into the world day after day for decades. I mean, I, I, I can't remember a time when his blog wasn't up, um, you know, so go, go check out, go check that out. Like I, I would say if nothing else, if there's just one thing that you were going to do, and that would be to publish something every single week, if you could possibly manage it, publish every single day. Okay. <laughs> That's an enormous amount, like 365 pieces of content. If you can't do 365 then do a hundred, you know, if you can't do a hundred, do 50. If you can't do 50, do 25. Do something, but stop worrying about technical SEO. It's, it's not that important. You know, yes, it can make a little bit of a difference, but the amount of time that most companies and brands are putting on it and with, with so little results. So, you know, it's, it's like, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just the last thing you should really be wasting your energy on. Um, so, Hey, listen, if you need a system, you want help putting together your story, 
message me, you know, give me a call, contact me. Look, Prime Storytelling System, that's what it was designed for, is to help you create a relentless process that connects with your right audience. That's what it's for. That's what I've been doing for the last 10 years. Okay, hey, I hope this was helpful for you guys, dissuade you from technical SEO and just focus on publishing. Put your thoughts out into the world. Be well.